recent court ruling found that tech giant Google had collected children's data without their parents' consent. The news adds concern about how much information that search engine company has on all of us. 13 on your side's Amar Boss is here now with some advice for parents. Amar. Oh yeah, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone who doesn't use Google to search for information. But all of those answers relating to you and your family are being stored and used. Now the good news is that you also have access to that information and can control how much is shared. I usually look it up on Google or like the top search bar. Like most teenagers, Mason Cole spends a lot of time searching online. Research questions for school and then also Netflix. The 14 year old has noticed that after searching for something on Google, she'll eventually see ads for what she looked up. Like an app or something or like a game that I've already done. Sweet. It's just super weird because it knows all the information that I'm searching on the internet. Her mom Jenny wonders how much information Google has on Mason and her two other kids. I truthfully never thought about it, to be honest, especially with my kids. I guess I just maybe knew that that was happening to me, but I didn't really think about it with my kids, that they keep track of all that. They record pretty much everything. Tech expert Justin Ayers from Grand Rapids Tech says all that information gathering is one of the reasons Google has become a multi-billion dollar company. Google makes all of its money through advertising, at least the vast majority of it. Basically, they just collect all of your data and target advertising towards your likes and dislikes. And the information Google gathers on us is not just from what we type into the search engine. Audio is another one. There's a lot of audio recording, specifically when you're using, you know, Google Assistant. Hey Google, what noise does a fox make? This is a red fox. It can grab, say, like a Nike logo off of a picture that you took and then they, then they know that you wear Nike stuff. Pretty much everything, really. All of that data is compiled by Google to create a profile that is very valuable to advertisers. They pay a certain amount per click, per conversion. The good news is you have access to your data. All you have to do is visit takeout.google.com. There you can review, download, or delete. And if you're a parent who wants to know what Google has on your kid, all you need is their username and password. We had the Coles take a look at their data. And it literally shows everything. Go on, um, go. What is it saying? It literally shows everything that you did. What do you mean? Look, saved. It shows what you saved. <gasps> you can also try to avoid being tracked in the first place. Go to myaccount.google.com. You can actually go through your different privacy settings. They have like a, um, a function that you can click on it. You can kind of go through what it's tracking, why it's tracking it. You can turn it on and off. Or you could try using a browser besides Google Chrome. Mozilla, who owns Firefox, they're not an advertising company, so they don't really have a reason to mine your data. You can still use Google search and everything. It's actually the default search engine, but it doesn't automatically have you logged in. Other search engines like DuckDuckGo are also an option. You get the uh, power of Google search, but then it doesn't, has no way of tracking what you're doing. Ayers says his biggest advice for parents would be to educate yourself on what data is being collected and consider whether it's worth turning it off. He used location services as an example. There's some use to that, right, as a parent. Um, Google knows where your kid is, but so do you. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how you can access, share or not share, and delete all the information Google has on you, visit 13onyourside.com. There you will find a step-by-step -step guide on the process. Thank you, Amar.